All right, talking today about falling thirds, one of my favorite sequences. It's super easy and super effective, sounds fantastic. You know, we did a little listen to this in our theory the other day as we were looking at the doo-wop progression and this, or the Romanesca, these are both examples of falling thirds. We're just gonna go with simple falling five three chords uh, as our bass goes down by do to transition from the tonic through the plagal area. And at some point we're going to break out into an authentic uh, chord so that we can cadence. So let's go to the whiteboard and, and, and write just write a couple of falling thirds cadences or sequences. These are super easy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write, like I said, falling thirds in the bass. We'll start with our just simplest, shortest version. We'll just go down, you know, do what progression. We'll just come down, do, la, fa, and this will be our falling third sequence. So I'm just going to put a five three on each of these chords. Just nice stable points. And then having, you know, transition from tonic and got into my plagal area here on Fa, we're gonna break out and just go Sol 5-3 to go back home to tonic. Just like that. So our falling thirds texture in four voices is, is a super easy because the, the cool thing about falling thirds is that every chord is gonna have you know, two notes in common with the previous chord. So watch how simple this voice leading is. Oh, well, we go and start off in a cadential position. So we'll put the do on top and just drop it down. Do, sol, and me in our voices. Now the la five three. La up a third is do. I've already got a do. I'm going to keep that common tone just like that. See how that keeps the same. I'm going to la up a fifth is me, and I've already got a me. So I'm just going to keep that common tone exactly the same. And then I'm just going to double my bass. love doubling the bass. So the soul's going to step up to La. See how simple that was? Two common tones, one voice moves by step. Okay, going to Fa, 5-3. Hey, look at this. We've got two common tones again because Fa up a third is La. So I can just keep my La the same, just like that. I can keep my Do the same because Fa up a fifth is Do. Totally just keep that the same. And then my me moves up by step to double my bass again. Fa, super easy. All right, and then we're just gonna, you know, think about my cadential voices here. La, sol, sol, the boring altisans. Do, ti, do. Or even better, you know. Fa, re, me would work very nicely. I could put a cadential 6-4 in the soul would really nicely. Do, do, ti, do. Fa, mi, re, mi. That, that would fill in that skip there very nicely, so it would be all stepwise. But that's falling thirds. That's super easy. All right, we can extend this farther. Let's go ahead and extend one in. Let's ex keep extending it in major. Let's just go ahead and get rid of our... So I'll do it at the end. We're going to keep this rolling a little bit. We're going to go down to get another third. Down to our array five threes. So instead of doing my mode one, one to tractus, do, fa, sol, do, I'm going to do mode two to tractus and go do, re. We'll just stretch that plagal area out a little bit farther here. Do, re, sol, do. And then come home. And this works very nicely too. Okay, common tones. Re up a third is fa, so I'm just going to keep that fa as my common tone. Re up a fifth is la, so I'm going to keep that common tone. And then I guess I move my do up to re. All right, we're all set to do our cadence area here. La, sol, sol. Let's go re t do. That works very nicely. Do, 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 re, ti, do. Fantastic. And then, do, mi, mi, fa, fa, re, mi. Brings that home very nicely. It would also work absolutely fantastically to, you know, put that 7, 5, 3 on that soul. So you can just voice lead in, uh, fa, fa, mi. And, and have the, you know, interesting auntie sounds there instead of the, Inner voice to noise on works very nicely either way. All right, let's go to minor and do a little falling thirds in minor. Just have a little fun with this. 
And let's bring our third down even farther. We'll bring it all the way down to T. So Do, Le, Fa, Re, T. When I hit my T at the bottom, let's break out of the falling third sequence and let's use my rule of the octave here to go back to Do. We know we like the 6-5-3 stepping up to 5-3. All right, so we're just going to put five threes on all of these falling thirds chords. And of course, if I wanted to, I could put any you know, passing tones in the bass. Do, te, le, do, te, le, so, fa, me, re, do, ti, do. It works very nicely to put those passing tones in. It absolutely works. All right, and then add in our other voices. Let's start in a, you know, first position here. We'll put our third in the melody, do, sol. We'll do it like that. All right, good, good, good. So, again, common tones. Lay 5-3, what does it have? It has a do and it has a me in it. Keep those common tones. Other voice moves by step to double our bass. Fa 5-3, what does it have? It has a lay and a do. We'll keep those as common tones. My May will step up to double the Fa on the bass. Re 5-3, what common tones does it have? It has the Fa, it has the Le, keep those two common tones. Step the other voice up to double the bass. Re just like that. All right, and then we're just gonna break out. I've got Tito here, so we're gonna go Le, Sol, Sol. Boring Altizans. Interesting Altizans, Fa, Fa, Me. And I've got a Cantizan, so we'll put in a Tenorizans, Re, Re, Do. Of course, I could have also made this a little bit interesting. I could do that Sol Lay switch on the T653 and instead make that a T753. Just do that Sol Lay switch there. That'd make this really neat and colorful with that Lay Sol half step resolving down there. Absolutely fantastic. But the point of the falling thirds. We transition you from the tonic through the plagal area naturally. We can kind of break out any place along the falling third sequence we like and get back into regular harmonic functionality as we resume our, you know, our plagal authentic tonic cycle. And we always have those two common tones that we keep the same. The other voice resolves up by step to double the bass. Super easy sequence, works fantastically, sounds terrific, and it's that easy.